lot of the new work has this form of customization, identity, cultural identity, but it's a new language for the studio. Things are kind of brought down a notch. Um, and a lot of it has uh, more of a social practice involved within the context of my work, where the public is really invited to be part of the exhibition. And you'll see when you walk into the exhibition, we've completely transformed the space. One of the pieces that I produced is an eight foot tall Afrocomb. It has a relationship to the idea of the Black Power Movement and the idea of revolution and the idea that a, a, a comb can represent something so powerful uh, is, is, a big, is, is a big statement. And then another piece is the barbershop, uh, which is an extension of the nail salon that I've produced. My mother had a bootleg hair and nail salon when I was growing up. And for me, the barbershop kind of represents a safe, a safe place. It's a, it's a safe room, it's a safe haven. It becomes a secondary home for some people. One of the other aspects of the exhibition is the, the barber as artist and the barber as sculptor. And what I've been very interested in is the idea of people getting these custom graphics and these custom haircuts and, and how that tells a story of personal and cultural identity. Another part of the exhibition deals with the connection of my Latino roots and of me being Puerto Rican and being an artist and can I bring that language that I grew up with, can I also bring that within the institution? And can I make that into a work of art? And can I make that into an art form? And so my, my hope is that when you leave the exhibition, there's a better understanding of the common person and the social practice that they do.